Stackable design and PCB metallurgical deposition process are applied on the latest Arduino Sensor Shield V5. This independent lead-out design makes the sensor shield more convenient and easier to use. Now let's take a closer look at each part. This shield breaks out all 14 digital input or output pins of Uno R3. Each one is paired up with power supply pins, one row of ground pins, and one row of VCC pins. It also breaks out all six analog pins. Each one is also paired up with power supply pins. There is an APC220 wireless RF interface, a Bluetooth interface, an ICC port, an ultrasonic sensor interface, an SPI port, an external power supply port, a wire jumper, when you put it on, power supply for the shield comes from the main board. When you take it off, it uses external power supply and a reset button. Next, let's do a test with this shield. We use the shield to conveniently connect a tilt switch and two LEDs. The tilt switch will control the on and off of these two LEDs. Of course, you can also use this shield to conveniently connect any sensor to do various experiments. In this test, we will need a V5 sensor shield, Uniboard, two LED modules, one USB cable, one tilt switch module, and three sleeping cables. First, step this shield to your Uniboard. Connect the Uniboard to computer with a USB cable to download the program. Then go to Device Manager to check if it is correctly connected. Right-click Computer, go to Properties, click Device Manager, and click Port. You can see Arduino Uno R3 COM7, meaning board is successfully connected. Now open Arduino IDE, click Tools. For board, select Arduino Uno. For port COM7. After selection, you can see here is the same with settings in Device Manager. In here, we can compile a program or directly copy and paste the program. For all of our products, we have supporting files from where you can find sample program for this shield. Directly copy the program and paste it here. Click Verify to check compiling mistakes. If codes are correct, click Upload to upload the program to the board. After uploading is done, let's do the wire connection. Interfaces of the shield are standard 3-pin interface, so we can easily connect LED1 to D3 using 3-pin cable. Connect LED2 to D4 and tilt switch module to D5. Now tilt the tilt switch module to one end, LED1 is on. Tilt it to another end, LED2 is on. Test is now complete. Thank you.